Astro Imagers, welcome to the installation video for Voyager. Today we're going to install Voyager on a PC. And the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the wiki at https voyager.tourstar.net. If you haven't been to the wiki, it's a good place to start learning about Voyager. Everything you can do with Voyager is covered there. Uh, documentation of all the features, how to get everything set up, the uh, information about drag script where you can customize your automation, quick start tutorials, examples, FAQ, more. Definitely worth a visit and worth some time and keep it bookmarked as a resource because as you have used Voyager and have questions you'll find many of them are answered right here in the wiki. Okay, now before we do the installation we click over here on the installation uh, link you want to make sure you have the right prerequisites installed on your computer. Voyager will run on Windows all the way from XP Service Pack 3 to Windows 10. Uh, it'll run on 32 and 64 bit. It's also been tested on Mac with Parallels. Uh, you definitely want to have the Microsoft.NET 4.0 installed as well as ASCOM. There's a link here you can go get the ASCOM platform. You need 6.x or greater and you should at least have a 1024 by 600 screen to run Voyager effectively. Okay, those are the prerequisites. Uh, let's start the installation. Okay, so find the folder where you installed Voyager and double click the Voyager setup.exe file. If you get a Windows warning, go ahead and click yes to accept the installation process. Choose your installation language. We're going with English here today. Accept the agreement and click the next button. You can change the folder for installation. I'm just going to take the default and click Next. And in this case, since I've installed Voyager once before, it's asking me if it's OK to use the same folder. Yes, it is. And I'm just going to pick Voyager as the menu name. And please do create the desktop shortcut. That'll make it easier in the next step when we set the properties. Click the Install button, and in just a few seconds, Voyager will be installed. Click Finish and we're done. Okay, now before we can run Voyager, we need to check to make sure that it is set to run as administrator. Right click on the icon and select Properties. From the Properties dialog, go to the Compatibility tab. All the way near the bottom it says Run this program as an administrator. Voyager's installation program should have checked this box for you. If it hasn't, Make sure this box is checked, then click OK. We run as administrator because a lot of the programs and hardware that Voyager integrates with might run as administrator. And if Voyager is not running as administrator, then they can't communicate. So you can run Voyager without the administrator checkbox, but we can't support it in that mode uh, because of some of the possible problems you could have. OK, let's uh, go ahead in the next step and start Voyager. Okay, let's run Voyager. Double click the desktop icon, or you can type Voyager from the start menu. Accept any Windows security prompts, which uh, ask you about running an unknown publisher. And then you'll get the splash screen with the license manager uh, title. On this screen, you see a serial number. Every time Voyager is installed on a new PC, it generates a unique serial number. And the license files that we send you are tied to that number. So uh, you can copy it right now and use it to, to buy a license of Voyager or you'll be able to get the serial number later and we'll, and we'll show you how in a, just a couple minutes. Alright, so at this, from this menu you can run in demo mode which we recommend. You can activate your 45 day free trial. It's best to wait for a good clear night. No need to waste your 45 day free trial days uh, until you're actually ready to use Voyager under the stars. So let's just click demo mode and start Voyager up. Uh, it'll start loading and initialize the environment. And once Voyager is fully loaded, you'll get a screen that looks something like this, uh, sort of a blank screen. And if you need to get the serial number again, you go up to the resources tab and click the license button and that'll give you the splash screen similar to what you see when you start Voyager and there's the serial number. So you can highlight it with your mouse and copy it and that way you can just paste it into the website uh, where you will be able to buy the license. 
and to activate the trial you actually don't even need to uh, to copy and paste the serial number you only need it if you're going to buy the license so that's it we're up and running uh, with Voyager and uh, in the next video we will go through the quick start tutorial see you there